Okay, so I hate to be like, like inquisitive, and I, 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 I don't know. It's a bit random, but I just feel the need to point this out. Let's just go over how many people re are like are wearing this outfit. Like, okay, hold on a minute. Is this one, or am I? Yeah, this is one. Right. This is two, except it's a slightly different shirt. Uh, that's more or less different. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. What? I am multiplying, please send help gamers. I'm multiplying, oh, I'm not multiplying. There's the real Agent 3, kind of. But, like, why is there so many of them? Here's another one. There's, they're, they're conversing, chat. Another. And, an, and another. What? What is going on? There's another one here. And another one. What is going on? At least table turf is safe. Don't we should wear that exact gear? Well, I don't have the headset. This is the original. I recognize this one, right? But then all of them appeared. They're they, they are over here specifically. They're, they're all gathering around this place primarily. I put this one in Salmon Run as well. Yep, there it is. What's going on? At least you're safe. I don't know. I don't even know what that artwork is. But, um, yeah. Anyway, welcome back to another stream, everyone. That was probably one of the largest bits I think I've ever done to open up a stream. But hello, Michael Stripe. Uh, Pokey. Hello, everybody. It's the person who waited a year for the pearly DLC. Yeah, exactly. That, but, I mean, their job here is done. Why is there so many? Even Rusty themselves don't know what's going on. Like, huh? I am multiplying sent help gamers. I guarantee if I looked on Twitter, this person has just directly copied them, pretty much. If I guarantee if I looked on Twitter, I would probably find out exactly what's going on. But I can't be bothered, because I'm not here to look at Twitter. I'm here to play Heavy Startling. Now you may be wondering, Derpnake, why are you playing Heavy Startling? And to that I say, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it. Uh, I was looking at my uh, freshness, and I noticed that my Heavy Startling is kind of close to four stars, relatively speaking. So, we could, we could hit that today. We could also not hit that today. But uh, I'd kind of just put four stars in the thumbnail to make it look like I'm actually going to do that. Is there no new clothes in this place? Lame! I haven't got every single piece of clothing because I'm looking for this one specific shirt that I don't actually have. But, um, I digress. No warm-ups. We're just gonna go straight into series and see what we can do. I don't play this weapon enough. It's really, really fun, but I don't play it enough. Because you just get to do this. You just get to run around really, really quickly and just fire at people and then they die. And you have, like, a lot of range, and your kit is kind of whatever, but at least... Well, I can't really defend the kit, actually. <laughs> at least you have Sprinkler to paint your feet, right? 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 And Waybreak is cool. I believe it makes you a two-shot. Okay, well, I can't really... Yeah, yeah, it makes you a two-shot. So there you go. It's the bite of Rusty7. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, chat, I do not know what's going on here today. It's very weird. It's all very strange. I'm not quite sure what's happening. But, uh, there's an invasion going on. I bet we'll find one in our game as well. Over the course of the stream, chat, look out uh, for Rusty's. None, none yet. So you just feel like playing heavy today? Yep. 
I I want to make a s okay, right. I am done with the as going for S plus ten and then PBs later streams. Those are boring. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and attach some sort of gimmick, big or small, to every single one of my streams, so it's not just oh look at me I'm playing ranked or oh look at me I'm doing battles with viewers. No. Gotta put a twist on it, gotta make it more engaging, more exciting. Rusties. <laughs> what do you mean, rust eye? Is, is, is that the plural of rusty? <laughs> Blue, did you miss the start of the stream? I think you need some context. Uh, I'm not popping that. Yeah, no, they're everywhere, right? Rusties? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not the best heavy starting player, by any means, but I, I mean that- oh my god, that was a waste. <laughs> That's why we're doing this stream, to try and improve with this weapon that I'm probably never going to play after I get it to four stars. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Idiot. <laughs> Woo! Go around U-turn, let's go. U-turn gaming, oh god. Okay, never mind. Forget the U-turn. I really, really didn't want to hit the side of the bubbler, but to be honest, I didn't have much choice. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> what? No, that was a joke. I didn't expect to actually win. What? Okay, then. What a start to the stream. Oh my god. Hey, Crispy Toast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I... I actually won. Wow. Also, I need to change this text. Uh, we'll go blue today. Ooh. I'll keep this gradient, actually. This is quite nice. You know, if I had a nickel for every time you said, nah, I'd win before you win, I'd have to. Oh yeah, that that one other time. I remember that. <laughs> oh, actually, my catalog's maxed up. Why am I not just going to see Harmony? Hold on, chat. Brief intermission. I promise we'll get back to heavy splatty... Uh, heavy splatty... Heavy splatling gaming in a second. Oh, new emote. Thank you, Harmony. Strings attached. Ooh. Am I dead? Oh god, I am. This, what is this? William Afton? Five Nights at Freddy's? Ooh. I like this end pose. Weird. Weird fingers. <laughs> Get back into heavy slotting. Shush, 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 shush. Also, for those who weren't here at the start of the stream, this is what I mean by Rusty's. Whereas, Rusty is love, Rusty is life. Who's Cephalor? Yo! The artwork goes so hard. Another one. Two more. This is the OG. There's another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. There's even more than last time. Yeah, it's literally a rust apocalypse. It's crazy. I did not expect this. I, I I have never heard anybody talk about this. Are we just gonna let this happen? Is nobody gonna make like a video or like a like a Twitter post or anything about this? Is 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 this just gonna is this just gonna be a thing? <laughs> God, they are right outside my door and they are. Hello? Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. What? All right. I'm 
not gonna lie, I have not played Bluefin Rainmaker in an eon. I've completely forgotten, like, 90% of how this functions. Sprinkler, go! Okay, never mind. Tetra, please don't kill me. Bye, Tetra. So, are we just gonna, like, get first check? Woo! Actually, what's the point of asking the question, are we going to get first check? If blue it's, it's Bluefin Rainmaker, of course we're getting first check. Shouldn't even be a question. Ow. <laughs> Why is my brother being so loud? No, okay, to be fair, that was a bit of a 1v4. I probably shouldn't have taken that fight. <laughs> bye, Tetra. Bye, Tetra. What if I did this? How do you react? Get him! Let's go. Alright, Chainsaw Man, get out of here. Oh, Tetra! Okay, nice. <laughs> Sprinkler, go! Yeah, exactly. What if I did this? How would he react then? Hmm? Thought so. <gasps> no! Bluefin, jump! Bluefin, jump, my beloved! Go, 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 go! Dude. There we go. <laughs> I love the bluefin jump. They're gonna go down this way. <gasps> okay. We're here. Speaking of react, hello, Trizuka. Oh, what the heck? That wasn't the Rainmaker. Okay. You've had enough of your history teacher? What's up? Is he making history as the worst teacher you've ever seen in your life? Okay, that was a horrible joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> tell me all about it. Unless it's like actually like a serious issue that you need to talk to someone about. In that case, do not talk about that. <laughs> Bluefin jump gives you heart attacks. Same. But damn, does it feel good when you actually do it or survive it. Much like a heart attack. It's pretty scary, but when you survive it, it feels really good. That is a really, really horrible analogy. Please do not get a heart attack. Hi, Splatstar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, they're just jumping in over and over again. Please tell me you guys can deal with that, right? <laughs> right. No. -uh. When? 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 Come on, guys, guys, guys. It's always one person. It's always, always, every single time. Just reset it. Nice! Are they still there? No. Okay, that was, that was instant death. <laughs> We're gonna write essays every class, and if it's not three quarters of a page, you're getting a bunch of time attention. What is in everybody's getting one? Well, that sucks. Seems people aren't taking this class seriously enough. I died to an ink mine. Please send help. <laughs> is this from experience? <laughs> no. 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 I don't have. Um, any heart attacks. I haven't had any heart attacks, at least I don't think so. To be honest, we can just kind of keep the Rainmaker up there, so right now, I'm just gonna s what? No! <laughs> Get him, Waybreaker! Get him! 
Oh. I mean, it, 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 it should be fine. Good job, team! Let's go. Ooh. But what about order splatling? So true. But the thing is, I'm dangerously close to four stars with um with heavy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna get there today. Welcome, 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 Ted. Oh, it's been a while. <clears throat> Tetra KD, everybody. Tetra KD, look at it. Point and laugh. Tetra KD, eight and thirteen. Great job, buddy. <laughs> Understandable how you been? I've been doing pretty good, thanks. Um, I've kind of been... Well, <laughs> I haven't uploaded a video in like... How long has it been? When did I last upload a video, actually? Content grind has kind of been a little bit shaky. But aside from that, I've been doing well. How about you? When was the last time, actually? I need to know. Also, I need to look out for any Rusties. Hold on. Anyone with the Splatoon 1... Ears? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I call it ears. Was it like... Okay, February 15th. It has been a month and a half since I've uploaded a video, so that's great. Okay, I am not gonna win that fight. Watch this. Get him! Okay. <laughs> I gotta also remember that I'm not playing Nautilus and I can't just charge and basically run at people. I don't have a charge hold anymore. To be honest, it's one of my biggest habits playing heavy. Already any spelling actually. I'm just I just play very, very aggressively. Ow. <laughs> Tried to go for the old squid roll there. Where are you going? <laughs> Oh, I splattered daddy. Oh, okay. Right, I'm grabbing this. If I had a face cam right now, you'd see me leaning back in my chair, because oh my god. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to grab it again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, to be honest, I'm going this way. I doubt anybody's actually paying attention to this side. Yep. <laughs> go, Sprinkler, go! Heart grind going strong. Let's go! Glad to hear it. Alright, come on. Okay, now I'd win for the second time. There we go. Okay, from now on, the rule is, whenever I'm playing Rainmaker, and I'm close to dunking it, I have to yell, Nah, I'd win. And then automatically, everything will go perfectly. And... I win. <laughs> this is too good for it to happen twice. Not too good. Too coincidental for it to happen twice. You were on my team? Yeah, I saw. Your name isn't Michael anymore, so it was just a little confusing in-game. But yeah, hello, hi. I hope you, uh, you all are enjoying these more themed streams. With the only real exception being the team guitar one. But with that one, I mean I was playing with Strike and, you know, it was like five hours long, so I think that's a good enough gimmick for me.
Also, by the way, I might do a mini Easter challenge thon type thing. Basically, what I'm going to do is, because there's a bunch of challenges happening in a row, I might stream two hours of every single one of them. Because they are all really, really good. <laughs> so that's going to be th three streams in a row, I think. I'm going to miss out the monthly challenge, which is tomorrow, I want to say. Or no. It's sometime. I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, I'll, I'll be sure to stream every single one of those. Call it the Easter something or other. I don't, I, don't, I don't really have a good name for it. He revenged you? So true. Strike did revenge me. <laughs> I don't believe there's any uh, Rusties. So it seems the Rusty Invasion is largely in the Incopolis uh, Square. It might be in Slatsville as well, I don't know. But uh, it's it's not really as big in multiplayer. Which makes sense. How many times are you going to see Rusty in multiplayer specifically? Whew. Okay, I'm double dead. In fact, I was uh, listening to the song on the way to school this morning. You guys didn't need to know that. But there you go. Just in case you were curious on what kind of songs I listen to. Some of it is just Splatoon. Can this Aerospray get off me, please? <laughs> Thank you, Brush, for revenging me. Or, as Strike would say, revenging me. Where are you going? Never, never mind. Okay, cool. Can't have anything in this in this world. <laughs> Watch out, there's a roller. Okay, well he just kind of revealed his location with that bubbler. Let's go, crab. Okay. Oh, there's an edit on the other team. I only just realized. Sure, Dapples, you can do the the weird flank. Go for it. <laughs> what is he cooking? Okay, I'm gonna back up. Nice. Okay. You know what? Nah, I'd win. <laughs> it works every single time. This is the new Rainmaker tech. Just say, nah, I'd win before you dunk it. There you go. Three times in a row it has worked. Of course, it only works if you actually get the opportunity to dunk the Rainmaker, but uh, just say it like 30 to 20 points beforehand, and you will win. Hmm. You gotta go by? Alright, take care. What even is the other map? Haven't we just played Undertow four times in a row? <laughs> Oh yeah, Bluefin. I'm a liar. It's, it's <laughs> it hasn't just been four times in a row. Have we had four knockouts? Oh no. Bluefin is like the one exception to everything here. Honestly, for being a Splatoon rotation in 2024, this is actually pretty peak. I really like Undertow Rainmaker, and Bluefin is pretty cool too. It's not perfect. <laughs> it's not perfect by any means, but it is fun, and that's what matters. 
In my opinion, at least. Of course, fun is subjective. Chat, what do you think of Heavy Splatling? <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. What do you think of it? And also, I need to check for... Uh, for them. <laughs> no, okay, so we do have some sort of individuality in these games, which is, which is, which is nice. No! You know, having two Dread Ringers in one game is a fear that I never thought I would have. But it is really, really scary. Just hearing boom, 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 boom. Oh, we have one on our team as well. Dude, this is, this is, this is Dread Ringer the video game. You like it, but you prefer it's second kit? Yeah, it's second kit is a lot better, but I have so many less stars in that one, and the stars was kind of the reason I wanted to play this thing in the first place. So I'm playing this one. I might switch to Deco as well. I know it. They have Waybreaker, don't they? Oh god. Oh yeah, they have triple suction bomb. Oh, that's funny. Nope. Oh, he's so weak. Finish him, Wiper. You missed every single one of your shots. All right then. <laughs> Get him, bunny. Or do nothing. Cool. Oh no, 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 no. All right, cool, thanks. Thanks for that, Nintendo. I really appreciate that. Whew. As long as I don't knock out, we will be okay. Okay, I'll take it. You're grinding for S plus right now using the Nautilus. I like the Nautilus. I like that. Keep it up. Nautilus is really, really good in solo queue, so be sure to take advantage of that. Is there a Dread? Who there? Yes, 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 there is, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, Dread fills me with Dread. I'm gonna be honest. Also, wow, that was a quick kill time. Though you played with the J emoji and you actually did. Oh, that's cool. I didn't have the uh, the RNG to match into people like that. <laughs> See what I mean by Nautilus is very good in solo queue. Look at that. Then again, this Nautilus player is probably just really good as well. So, fair enough. Woo! Come on, finish him off, please, guys. There we go. It's a bit of a struggle to get out of our base, but we're doing it. It's 
bit of a 3v2 situation going on right now. Oh god. Oh, it is just me. Oh, bye bye. Never mind. Come on, Waybreaker, get a kill. No. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. No, they can. They can just sit there, can't they? I swear to God. Okay. Where the hell? What? This guy is actually unkillable. I s Ow. Alright, so he was shocking in the tiniest patch of ink ever. I thought he just jumped out or escaped, but nope. Oh well. It happens. Hey, first loss of the stream and we're what, like half an hour in? I will take it. Okay, self-improvement. I died so much during that game. <laughs> so I'll need to make sure to cut down on that. Strike, hello again. Hi, 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 hi. Are you ready to see the best heavy slatling gameplay in the world? No? <laughs> How can you? <sighs> okay. Well, chat, pack it up. He's not ready just yet. What a bum, I agree. Oh, they have two five stars. All right, are there any rusties? I'm gonna stop looking for them after the next one. Why are there two tri-stringers on my team? <laughs> Where is our paint? I mean, we painted them, but... What? Okay, get completely mechanically destroyed. Goodbye. Let's just make this quick. Come on, guys. Yep, there we go. I would like it if one of the tri-stringers took it. I guess that reality is not uh, the one we live in. Do you need me? If you continue and like, wait, you actually got a kill. All right, watch this. You fool! Nope, I'm okay, actually. Nope, I'm fine. I'm f Oh my god. <laughs> the teammates are really, really good at staying alive. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I should not have said anything. Oh my god, I should not have said anything. Oh my god, okay. I knew the second that I said that, that was a big mistake. I've just completely jinxed it. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay, my teammates aren't very good at staying alive. We've established that. Are you trying to make that jump? Oh, I'm, well, I mean, he can. It is possible, but do I want him to? No. This is very painful. Hello? Uh, um, uh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna grab this. That was weird. <laughs> We're slowly pushing up. No! <laughs> Damn it. Okay. That was one of the funniest looking deaths I think I've ever seen in my life. I mean, no matter what, I'm not losing any points here, so, uh... I don't even care if we lose, really. It would be quite humiliating, but to be honest, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go this way. Close. We're, we're almost there. Okay, I didn't say nah, I'd win. So, so it's, te it's, it's technically still legal. That You are not getting that. Actually, maybe he is, never mind. Guys, let me grab it. Because then I can say the funny thing. Go, 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 go! I still haven't said nah, I'd win. Nah. He'd lose. Oh, okay. What if I just went around this way? How would he react? Okay, never mind. There we go. When we tap into the peepees. The stream is like started half an hour ago, dude. Too, too, too early, too early. View counts have been fairly low, so I'm probably gonna get uh, into that when like more people get out of school, primarily. Is there someone behind? No, okay. Because I know quite quite a few uh, people are in school. Oh, I'm not realizing I've had Suffer No Falls playing on mute for the past. I don't even know how long. You know that new Slapfest song? That one. <laughs> Okay, four goals except for that defeat. You know what? I will take it. You've been grinding Persona 3 Reload. You got to the good part. Let's go. I thought the whole game was the good part. <laughs> This is the... <laughs> oh, oh, you wanna... Oh. 
All right, I'm gonna officially, unofficially stop looking for the rusty gear. Uh, oh god, no, I'm changing a tab, please don't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that was one of the most scuffed openings to a match ever. All right, let's back up, actually. Chat, if you wanna play the Where's Rusty game, because they have invaded the plaza, then go for it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ambitious for sure. Oh. I see you there. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go on, Rainmaker. We're instantly better than them. Except not really, and I'm probably going to jinx myself really, really, really hard. Honestly, let's just go, just go, just go, and we're dead. <laughs> Turkey sandwich? True! I, I see. I thought Persona 3 Reload is one of the most depressing games ever. And also one of the best games ever. PG Nuts, hello! Welcome to the stream. No! No! Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, what a shame. That it's a lot of things and none of them are good for me. Like a kid in a sweet shop. But instead of me being a kid, I'm me, and instead of the sweets, it's a lot of bombs. <laughs> that doesn't really make much sense. The connection is that they're not very good for me. Or I guess the American equivalent of a sweet shop is a candy store. There you go. But I'm British. I'm going to call it a sweet... A sweet shop? <laughs> no, there's a Dreadbringer! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that was a plot twist. I think my teammates would kind of want me to push that way, so... Um, my bad. That was completely my fault. I know I just kind of failed with the Rainmaker, but I promise I will make it up to you guys. Never mind! Okay. <laughs> Philip, is that like your friend code? Or... Okay, I'll take it. Did I school for two weeks? Easter break? Or spring break? Or whatever. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> I did the day one bluefin thing. Bye! The 
whole kit's coming out. Okay, we win. Woo! All right. This opens fun. I like heavy. <laughs> you know what? We'll do a whole series with heavy, and then we'll do heavy deco after that. I think that's the best way to do things. That way we get to play both. I'm off. <sighs> oh, so I found the stream title for this one is just really, really weird. But it also works. <laughs> I don't know. I also want to change my emote because as much as I did use the Splatoon 2 emote in uh, in the thumbnail, I mean, come on. I, I, I think most people can agree that this one is just vastly superior. <laughs> Finally made your Splat Zones build? Oh, interesting. So you're making builds related to uh, the modes rather than the weapons that you play. That's really interesting, actually. I'm going to guess you have special charge up in it. I was right? Oh, let's go. That's it, I'm listening to a dancing remix of Last Surprise. Oh, that is a lot of shooters. Oh, that is a few shooters. And like four fifths of them are just splatter shots. God, why is this weapon so spoon, spoon fed? Oh my God. There are five splatter shots in this godforsaken game and that is just the base one. Not counting any sort of splatter shot pro or Nova or junior or any of that. If you are counting those splatter shots, then it goes from 5 to 11. <laughs> 11 <laughs> freaking splatter shots in this one game, dude. If splatter shot gets a third kit, I'm done. <laughs> Go back from seeing Kung Fu Panda 4, it's pretty good. Good. Better than you expected? I've heard a lot of people say the movie was pretty good, it's just more so the fact that if you're expecting the same experience as 1 to 3, then you're going to be let down. Because I mean, Kung Fu Pandas 1, 2, and 3 are completely peak. So like, it's kind of hard to do that four times in a row, you know? You're gonna mess up eventually. And knowing how movies have been recently, and how people have enjoyed movies recently, uh, yeah, that's... That, that, that's not gonna happen, is it? Yeah, pacing in movies typically does have to be fast due to, uh... Because movie people... <laughs> I'm pretty sound really stupid by saying that. Are starting to adapt to the lower attention spans of the, uh... The new generation. Which is fair enough. Gotta get with the times, you know? Ow. That's how you get a relatable and engaging end product. Oh no. To be honest, if I were to watch the movie, I don't, I'm not really planning on seeing it anytime soon, but if I were to watch the movie, then uh, I would probably appreciate the change of pace, because, you know, I don't want it to just be the same movie four times in a row. I do want it to shake up somewhat. Like, 
having um I forgot the name. I haven't watched Kung Fu Panda in like eight years. <laughs> I think it's the Furious Five. Um be featured for like the fourth time in a row is kind of repetitive. So if we got like a new set of characters, then that's pretty cool. Where are you going? I'm gonna do this. Pre-firing. Boop. Boop. Actually, I can just walk forward. Never mind, that's a Zuka. Nah, I'd lose. You might want minus spoiler. I don't, but they will, so please don't say it. Well, I don't know if they will, but just don't say it anyway. Because... Well, it's not about me, really. Yeah, just DM me. Confidential. Make it secretive. Ooh. Well then, they're not winning this match. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! <sighs> what if I tried to kill them with a sprinkler? I hope they appreciate the, the the gift. Happy Easter. Chat. Did you guys know? Did you guys know that the number 420 has 48 factors? I stole that from somebody I know, a friend of mine. <laughs> Actually, should we just Google some random facts? R r uh, random facts about... What should the random facts be about? I'm Googling this, so there's probably going to be an article about it. Trees? Bed. Random facts about trees. T 20 tree facts you might not know. I will be reading these throughout uh, the course of the stream. Alright. Okay. Did you know trees absorb billions of tons of carbon dioxide? Trees are a vital component of our world for many reasons. They cool air, stabilize soils, and provide hoop, bleh, food, tap, food, 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 habitats, food and habitats for wildlife. God, I can't speak. There you go. And also, basically, because of you know the equation photosynthesis, where they um, want to take in carbon dioxide to get energy. Um, that means they're taking in carbon dioxide, which you know is poisonous to humans. As we all know from our favorite science biology. Um, well, I'm assuming in America this is also studied in biology. Uh, the stuff inside plant cells being chloroplasts containing chlorophyll uh, conduct photosynthesis. I don't know how, but they do. And that's pretty cool. 
there's like this whole thing about a leaf's structure and how it's like um, designed to take in this energy, but do I care and or want to explain it to a, br a bunch of people? No, not really. Well, it isn't poisonous, but a really big amounts of it is. Yeah. If trees didn't exist, the world would be a lot worse on that front, that's for sure. It'd be a lot more risky. Ow. Okay, jeez. Want to know something funny? Go for it. Because we breathe out CO2. Mm-hmm. We take in oxygen and uh, take out CO2. And the uh, the plants take in CO2 and uh, basically will breathe out oxygen, or use oxygen, I should say. So I actually got the thing that I said earlier wrong. <laughs> I misspoke. So um, if you ever want a plant to grow, here's a fun fact, this isn't even on the article, I just know this about plants. Um, you know, there are some people that say that singing to a plant is actually effective in making it grow. And uh, believe it or not, that's actually technically true. Because plants use um, use uh, carbon dioxide, because they take it in to grow, and you breathe out carbon dioxide, talking to, breathing on, and therefore singing to a plant is... I mean, if you do it consistently enough, a genuine way to make it grow a little bit faster, or a little bit bigger, or a little bit greener. And it's stupid. It's really, really, it's really dumb. But, uh, <laughs> there you go. So if you ever want a plant to grow, just start singing to it, basically, is the moral of the story there. Of course it needs other things, like water. You know. But there you go. Singing to a plant, fellas scientifically proven to make it grow. So basically talking to a if you ever need to vent, vent to a plant because it makes it feel better. I am not kidding. That is literally what happens. Well, be better physically. Also, I've been so focused on plants that I've kind of forgotten anything that's happened during this game. So I need to actually focus up. Okay, this blast is making it really difficult for me to do anything. Thing is though, no matter what you say to it, it'll <laughs> it'll have the same effect. Like, no matter if you start swearing at it, or you start comforting it, either way, it's gonna grow the same amount. But as long as you're giving carbon dioxide that you breathe out to the plant, that's all you need. Because like, as I'm talking right now, I'm releasing carbon dioxide from my... Uh, from my body. Are you gonna grab the ring? Oh, okay, I'll grab it. <laughs> so there you go. Science facts. Who is this? God, they're running at me. They miss. No! The blaster! Get get back. Back. Beast. for dear life right now. <laughs> well, that's pretty much GG. <laughs> Alright, there you go. There's an extensive fact about singing to a plant. Alright. Because of trees, uh, their age, and where they are, it's difficult to put a figure on how much carbon dioxide trees absorb globally. However, it's thought that the world's forests absorb billions of tons of carbon dioxide a year. It's little wonder that forests are referred to as the lungs of our planet. Ah, uh, I'm literally reading this from an article. Hmm. <laughs> Why is derp become the dictionary? It's not that bad. 
I hope. I hope you guys are enjoying my tree facts. Thank you, thank you to Brick for uh, the, the shout on that one. I'm able to basically stress my, uh, my knowledge. Well, share my knowledge. Stress is a weird word. If you guys are ever studying plants in biology, just wow them with the fact that singing to plants helps them grow. <laughs> I was also uh, told some plant puns by my uh, biology teacher the other day. It was very, very cool. You could say it was unbelievable. But I won't continue with the puns because, I mean, it'll probably be the root of all your problems. They're just that bad. Okay, that pun was good. Thank you. The rest of them aren't. <laughs> Thistle be my last one. Anyway, because get it like like thistle, like T H I S T L E. You know, it's like a plant. I'm sorry if that stung. <clears throat> Anyway, back to Splatoon. Enough about plants. I've been talking about plants for the last, like, ten minutes. <laughs> what? The invisible curling bomb? Ow. Shut up. Never! It's better than how my teacher would explain things. People always say to me that I'm generally quite good at explaining things, which I find quite funny. I suppose I have a way with words. Not those kinds of words. Ow. You don't believe how good this match will be. Ah, uh, oh, I get it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. So you know the second I st stopped ranting about plants, I've dipped like six viewers. <laughs> you guys just really want to hear more plant facts. Oh god. I mean, I like plants. Plants are cool. A lot of people hate plants. Studying plants, I should, I should add. But uh, I, I like plants. You know, they're necessary. Plants are really, really necessary. If plants didn't exist, we wouldn't exist. And it's not in the way that you might think. Because while eating plants is great for us, that's not necessarily the reason I'm referring to. It's more so because you, you guys are smart enough to know about food chains, right? We want to photosynthesize. <laughs> I wish. If we could photosynthesize, that would be so hype. Will talking to my cactus make it grow taller or make it spikier? Uh, taller. Can I... C can eat plant? Yes. I mean, plants provide good nutrients. I like apples. <laughs> and fruits. But, no, that's not really the reason. Uh, of course there's the aspect of, you know, nutritional value. But, uh, it's actually more so nutritional value for other things. Like, obviously there are the, um, there are the herbivores, which eat plants, and then some animals eat the herbivores, and then, uh, some, uh, some omnivores eat the, uh, eat the herbivores, and then the omnivores are usually things like, uh, pigs, well, not pigs, pigs don't eat other people, 
But yeah, like cows, for example, eat grass. If grass didn't exist, cows wouldn't exist. If cows didn't exist, basic meat, like, you know, steak wouldn't exist. And beef, none of that would really exist. So it's like, it's a chain of events, basically. There's also the aspect of plants where it's like, they take away uh, carbon dioxide from us and use oxygen. Oh, sorry, to make oxygen. I, I, I need it. I'm stupid. Which gives them energy. So like, you know, it, it, it takes carbon dioxide, which is toxic to us, away. Which is always a net positive. Can I have some backup, please? Thank you. This is actually exactly what I was wanting. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said cars. No, 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 no. Not cars. Not cars. I am so alive. Never mind. <laughs> Come on. Okay, well, that sucks. So yeah, keeping the plants alive is basically essential for us. If the plants die, we die. Simple. Well, no, if the plants die, the animals die, then we die. Because then we won't have any plants to eat including crops, and then we won't have any animals to eat. If we have no eat, we get no energy. There. We, if we have no food, we get no energy or nutrients. If we have none of that, we die. There you go. Plants are cool. I like plants. I hope I have convinced you guys that plants are important and cool. You actually feel more educated. It's great. You know what, chat? Now that we've had this crazy cool discussion about plants, what's your favorite plant? Whoever gives me a plant, I'll put on my stream. First plant, go. Give me a plant, chat. Weed. Oh god. Weed. Plant. A hemp. Okay. Japanese citrus fruit? There's quite a few of those. You know, you chat, you guys can have a plant. There you go. Stream's already looking a lot more organic. Look how beautiful that plant looks. <laughs> this stream should now be called the plant stream. Pretty much is, to be honest. I love plants. Play Splatoon 2. I do need to go back to Splatoon 2 one day. Chat, would you be down for a Splatoon 2 stream one day? Could do it over Easter, actually. That would be quite a good idea. All right, here's another plant fact. <laughs> there are a lot of trees on the planet. So, we know how important trees are, but what are the big numbers? There are estimated to be around 3.04 trillion trees in the world. 
which is three, followed by a zero, but followed by a four, followed by a zero, and then nine more zeros after that. If you want context to that number, or a visual to that number, um, let's see. There. That is insane. So there you go. So there are quite a few trees in the world. But uh, the funny part is, is that it's not enough. And I'll go into why later. I don't even know how this whole plant fiasco started. <laughs> Many trees in Minecraft Steve can plant them all. We need more Minecraft Steves. I'm making a statement, y'all. Oh no. <laughs> Big Sad. Everyone's Life? That's their title? Big Sad? Oh my god, that is... Hey, that's what it will be like if there aren't any trees. I don't know why I'm such an advocate for trees all of a sudden. The stream has changed to me. I'm a changed man. What country do you live in? Great Britain. In case, in case you couldn't tell by the accent. Okay, there it goes. Off to space. Aha, you missed. Can't reach the top shelf, Sploosh. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, our savior. Okay, well that... <laughs> and if we have that many, why do we need even more? Well, I'm glad you asked. I opened my files by accident. I will tell you when I next die. Or if I don't die, then at the end of the game. But I'm probably gonna die to something dumb. Yep, okay. This has now become an educational stream? Exactly. So, a study by Nature Portfolio estimates that we cut down about 15 billion trees every year, and the global number of trees has fallen by 46% since the beginning of civilization. So we have essentially removed over half of the world's trees. Wow, great job us. And we plant around 1.9 billion trees a year, which is... Only about seven and a half times less than what we're cutting down. So realistically, we need to plant a trillion new trees by 2030. Which, um, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. And this article was probably not made in 2024. This is probably way before that. revision for your exam next week. Hey, there you go. I should become the tree man. But if I am the tree man, hmm? What then? Are they gonna push it that way? Guys, guys, guys. Okay, nice. Let's go. I'm the Lorax? Is that what I am? I guess I'm the Lorax. This has turned from like, fun facts about a random thing, to me just ranting about trees. This has shaped basically the entire stream. Not the entire stream, I'm sure we'll have fun. I'm sure we'll find a different topic to rant about eventually.
Well, that sucks. No, 96, no! <laughs> Well, that's done. Hmm. Let it grow, let it grow. All right. Planting new trees is only part of the solution. Let's read this. Younger trees are significantly less beneficial than mature ones in terms of carbon capture and biodiversity, so tree planting is not a quick fix. We'd also need a lot of trees to offset emissions, and there are simply not in there, there, there. there simply may be not enough land for them. And also, in addition to that, planting trees has a footprint of its own, and as we mentioned, trees do not release carbon dioxide or there. Trees do release carbon dioxide back into the bacteria when they decay. So, um... They aren't all good. <laughs> when they decay, they do release some back out. But to be honest, trees decaying isn't really that big of an issue right now, generally. But of course, it is still notable. Alright, so we're doing this slatling now. We've done one of them. Didn't really make much progress in terms of getting it to five, four stars. So we'll just play this one as well. Why not? However, I will be changing my build-ups very, very slightly. Just to fit that more sort of... Uh, aggressive playstyle. So we put the old ones in a retirement home. What you do is you put decayed trees in a greenhouse because... This isn't based on actually what people do, by the way. This is just a theory of mine. You put decay <laughs> decayed trees in a greenhouse. Wait, do you? Yeah, yeah. You put decayed trees in a greenhouse because you know how plants like to uh, take in carbon dioxide, as I mentioned earlier? The gay trees. Gay trees. <laughs> yeah, you put decayed trees in a greenhouse because you know plants take in carbon dioxide to use for photosynthesis one of the most important reactions on earth and the most important reaction for them for sure and uh well if we want plants to grow quicker use carbon dioxide since dead trees give out carbon dioxide why not just recycle it you're basically just recycling the carbon dioxide Hi, Moth. That's basically what it is and how it goes. Lita's gonna make it a little bit annoying. If I just stick behind this cover, I should be safe. More or less. Kraken's coming out. I'm going to use mine as well. Mine's going to be a lot more effective because I'm displacing a lot more people. Okay, well that sucks. I'm so dead. Woo, never mind. Wait a minute, that's not the heavy slotling. Shush! It's still heavy slotling. <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone. <gasps> no! Kill the trees to make oxygen? No, 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 no. They give out oxygen. We don't need to kill them to do that. If, in fact, if you kill them, they give out carbon dioxide. So don't don't kill the trees. Do just do the opposite if you want oxygen. Get 
Dude, climb the wall. <laughs> oh. I love how educational the stream has got. This is great. This is probably the most off-topic I have ever been. No! Okay, there we go. Well. There wasn't really anything to shoot at. Elite is distracted. I'm just gonna do this. Never mind, there's a splash! No! Why is everyone dressed like Rusty in the plaza? Yeah, that's what I was going on about with the whole Rusty thing. Ow! Okay, sure, cut my jump and don't cut the Rainmaker. That is fine by me. So, um, I've already a step. Dude. These freaking shooters keep on camping my jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I've already established... Please, no, that was the wrong jump. Oh, I'm dead again, aren't I? Oh no, never mind. I've already established that photosynthesis is really important. Because, you know, it keeps the plants alive. If the plants stay alive, then we stay alive. More or less. There are reasons why that happens, but that is the gist of it. There are also things that can increase or decrease the rate of photosynthesis. Now, I don't have all of these memorized, so I'm definitely missing a few, but one of them is temperature. Temperature is a little weird, because you wouldn't think that temperature is the first thing I would say that helps plants grow better, but it actually is. Uh, and the reason for that is to do with another concept that I know quite a few of you probably won't be too familiar with, being enzymes. Okay, I'm not chasing down that Elita. Uh, enzymes, in short, uh, a way my biology teacher has taught me to remember it, is their biological catalysts. A catalyst is something that speeds up the rate or speed of something. And biological just means it's natural. And, it, you know, you don't need to really make it, it's already there. What they do is they speed up the rate of uh, chemical reactions, and it just so happens that enzymes also are a factor in photosynthesis. Now the thing is with enzymes is that enzymes work better under certain conditions. For example, they work better when things are a little more acidic, but not too much. You want to find that balance, and it differs depending on the enzyme. They break down food, they do that as well. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. What, what was I talking about? <laughs> I know enzymes. Right, so enzymes are involved in photosynthesis, which is a chemical reaction, and heat makes them work better as well. Not just not just acidity, but heat. So, I believe the optimal conditions for enzymes in plants are is around 40 to 50 degrees. Dude on the stream, why is he speaking leaf? I like plants. <laughs> I like plants. I'm I'm basically nerding out about plants. So yeah, no, as I was saying, uh, enzymes' rate of rate of activity is directly proportional to temperature. Just around 40 to 50 degrees is the maximum uh, conditions, optimum conditions. And uh, with that, any higher, and the enzyme dies, it denatures, it doesn't work. The thing that makes it work, which I'm not going to go into because there's mainly digestion stuff, uh, the thing that makes it work kind of loses its whole shtick. That's the simplest way I can put it. 
and any colder, and it will still work fine, but it will just be really slow. So you ideally want to be... <laughs> Are we going to be quiz on this? No. I mean, you might be learning it if you're studying, like, biology. Maybe an AP class or something. It dies. Yep, exactly right. Everyone here don't have a good day. Thank have a great day. Thank you. So, you ideally want to be growing plants in that uh, 40 to 50 sort of degree range. You can do an experiment, actually, where you have a plant under a lamp and a plant without a lamp. And you can see that not only does uh, the heat of a lamp change it, but also... Actually, a better experiment would be put it near a heater. Is this going to blow them up? No. I'm just teaching you guys this for fun, because I think it's fun to learn about stuff like this, if it's taught correctly. Don't you just specific bolt, bolt to make that work? Just use like a radio- oh my god, my voice. Just use like a radiator or something. Uh, I actually went against using like the bulb or lamp thing, because that also uses light levels, which is actually another thing that affects it. And you don't want two kind of variables. So, yeah. Another way you could do it is put one next to a bulb that does give out heat, and another one next to a bulb that doesn't give out heat. That way they get the same light intensity, but uh, when it's high heat. Can we do a stream where you just get set homework and then do a test? It would be funny. I could do a... <laughs> it's basically just a squid school, isn't it? I could do that. That would be quite funny. It's actually not a bad idea. It's like a main channel video. YouTube chat takes a Splatoon exam. I'm dead. Never mind, I'm alive. <laughs> oh yeah, the maps have changed. Oh. No, that was a lucky shot. I hope you guys learned something new about plants today. And if you already knew this stuff, then I hope it's sort of embedded it in your brain. Because to be honest, um, biology this year, because I'm, I'm a biology student, it show me, because it, it was like my least favorite science before. Having that one teacher that really, really knows how to teach it to you can make all the difference in a subject. And I'm using the same sort of techniques that my biology teacher uses to teach you guys. And I hope it's worked. And if it has, then there you go. Just kind of proof that all you need to make something interesting is the right person teaching you. Can this wiper please leave me alone? Guys. Oh my god. All of that, just a squid roll into winning strike. You like medicine better? Fair enough. You never knew that singing to a plant can help it grow. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? And, um... I mean, if you link it back to the rate of photosynthesis thing, uh, one of the key, and arguably actually the biggest factor in plant growth is the rate of carbon dioxide around it. The, or, uh, if you want to use more specialist terminology that would get you marks in an exam, then concentration of carbon dioxide. You wish your teachers made it interesting though? Hmm. Yet, a good teacher, in my opinion, knows how to make something interesting and embed it in your brain. So basically, they don't just make you take down notes, they make you do practice exam questions, they give you quizzes, they give you like fun little like crosswords and activities to do. They still teach you the same content, but they just have that one thing that's, or like, few things that are, make sure that you can remember everything. 
A good teacher also uses examples as well. I didn't really use too many examples in that uh, in that sort of period there. But uh, using examples, especially in real world context where you can apply it to your everyday life or have some sort of thing to memorize, it is really useful. Ow. Also, teaching biology to somebody uh, is really, really cool because it makes me realize just how much I've learned. Like, all of what I discussed just then was about one lesson in my whole course with about... Um, one unit is nine lessons. And uh, there's been about four topics so far, which... Or like, yeah, four units so far. All of that content that I explained over the last hour, well not hour, half an hour, is just been in one lesson. Do, do you really want to play heavy, Spartling? Or maybe just a little bit? Uh, right now, just a little bit, actually, because I'm not doing too well. <laughs> but um, before, I really wanted to play heavy, Spartling. Maps have changed. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I've made plant biology fun. Because plant biology is one of the most boring things, according to people, that you can do. Or at least in, in, in your, like, biology courses. Your science teacher just doesn't care unless the kids do whatever they want in the classroom as he talks. You don't feel any education in the brain. Uh, I mean, fair enough. It kind of sucks to have a teacher like that. Especially when you have, like, actual exams that will determine your future coming up. That does suck. Maybe see if you can ask the teacher uh, so that you can move near the front if you're able to do that so that you can sort of concentrate better if the teacher does actually care about it and they are willing to make that sacrifice or sacrifice that decision then that will already make you a uh, or give you a way better experience <laughs> Vanilla carbon. Are you okay? There we go. No! <laughs> because I'm a heavy, actually, I dominate on this map, more or less. Yeah, because I can just sit up there on those grates. It's kind of difficult to see through the grates, though. Oh no. Okay, fine. You win.
double assist. You love to see it. I miss. That's fine. Doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Let's go. We don't really have any more clams, though. Well, now we do. They just conveniently spawned at the perfect time. Or the, or the least perfect time, I should say. Okay, that was kind of a useless Kraken. Alright. That sucks. Not really much I could have done there as a heavy. I need to get back on these grates. I also gotta be ready for a Zuka at any time. There we go. Noob, there it is. Alright, cool, I love it. I love it when that happens. Mm. But I'm behind cover, and then the Zooka still hits me anyway. Behind a wall so large that the Zooka can't even travel over it, I still get punished for it. No! Oh, that's bad. Yeah, oh well. Have I gone 0-3? Oh, I have. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> we, we can always come back. Okay, as much as I like it taking like taking accountability for my actions, you can't say that that last match was my fault. It's been such polarizing games that I've had, jeez. We are on a one, two, three, four, five, six. Six last streak. Can you play Splatoon 2, please? No, not right now. Maybe one day.
crab leg, the goat of spotting stages. Ooh, another person's hopping on the heavy train, okay. If only it didn't fall off. <laughs> okay, that guy jumped out. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, I need another tree fact. We haven't had one in ages. This one's quite commonly known. You can find a tree's age by looking at its rings. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of common knowledge, but like, it's still fascinating that you can do that. It's crazy. A lot of people know this from a very young age, actually, which is, which is cool. It's, it's a very good fact. The lighter, thicker green, uh, rings are growth of the tree during spring and summer, and the darker rings are towards the end of the growing season. Which is pretty cool. Please help, please help, please help. Alright. If we want to apply the knowledge that we learnt from uh, the rate of photosynthesis, which I didn't actually finish, by the way. There are, and there is one more factor with that being um, humidity. The reason humidity is a factor is because humidity is essentially the concentration of water in the air. If the um, uh, if if there's a lot of water in the air, then the humidity is high. And since plants use water for photosynthesis, which is, as I've mentioned time and time again, a very important reaction for them, then it's, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. More water means more photosynthesis, which means more energy. That sucked. That reached me? Guys, please, can we defend? sucks and then I die immediately. Cool. Man, now I don't want to play heavy splatting anymore. 
I don't want to play heavy chat. I'm getting a little bit bored. That, I mean, I mean that's what really happens when you play a weapon for two hours. You get kind of bored of it. Well, they pretty much lose. Whoa! <laughs> Finally finished the palace, now we've got to do 8's palette. Nice. Umami ruins clamblets. Disregarding plants for a second because there's no plants on this stage. <laughs> Is there a cactus? I don't even know. I can't be bothered to look. Uh, I like umami ruins. Let me finish. I like umami ruins on cl I'm dead. I like um umami ruins on clamblets. That was a really dumb way of approaching that charge. <laughs> I like Umami Ruins and Clamblets, and pretty much Clamblets only. I think this map works on Clams, but everywhere else is... I don't really like it. I will play it on Zones, Zones is okay, but it's just Tower Control and Raymaker that can just be a little bit knockout heavy to say the least. Oh no, I think on Clamblets it's really really good. I like it. I will play it if it's Clamblets and there's another decent map in rotation. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, if I got that Kraken off, it would have been really, really good. Let's get back behind cover here. But I wish I wasn't fighting a Charger. That makes things so difficult for me as a Splatling. Blugas? How the hell did the Gluga kill me? Hello, Fry! Wow, Fry's in my stream. What an honor. <laughs> what an honor. 
I remember this one time that I was raided by uh, both of the Squid Sisters. Which is crazy. That was a uh, months ago though. That was crazy. That like that was absolutely insane. I did not know what was going on there. Yeah, I don't seem to like my streams for some reason. It's great. The Squid Sisters. That's crazy. Yeah, literally. There was there was somebody called uh, Cali with like a Cali profile picture, and then there was the same for Marie as well. It was insane. Oh no, that was so close! Get back here! Yeah, there we go. I suppose in the Startlands, if we're talking Splatoon Rise, there aren't too many plants. <laughs> Because uh, temperatures here probably exceed 50 degrees Celsius. I don't know what 50 degrees Celsius is in Fahrenheit. There's some com complex equation that you can't do mentally in order to work out. But I cannot be bothered. Hello. Of course you are the troll, of course. Okay, we're fine. The Squid Big Splatoon raid. Yep, now I was half expecting a deep cut raid to be honest, but just Fry is cool. I like Fry. Um, I have a Fry amiibo on my desk. <laughs> that was a funny stream a few, day, a few uh, weeks ago. I remember my thumbnail for that... Uh, <laughs> for that stream was literally just me holding a fry amiibo to my monitor and that was the whole thumbnail <laughs> that was it it's just a cool jump So they went 3 and 11. That's unfortunate. If you had to estimate, how long would it be to get 400 points in ranked? I'm 400 away from S+. Um, so, if you play well, um, pretty about an hour. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'd say about an hour or so, if you if you play well, but realistically it might be like an hour and a half. An hour to an hour and a half. Because you have to complete one series, which would give you like 300 points, and then you'd have to do another one, which would... Yeah. And you, and you need to like, really, really profit off of both of them. Well, no, because series takes away like 100 and, uh, 180 points. So... If you want to... Gain 400 points, it would probably, yeah, about an hour and a half. Yeah, I was right, yeah, round about that time. Uh, realistically speaking, if you're like winning, but going like four and like five and two, or like four and three, stuff like that in your series, which is very likely considering how many factors there are in this game.
I'm probably going to finish my series, and then I'm going to call the stream there. We did two series with both Splatlings, and uh, I kind of want to play Persona 5. I'll play it on stream another time, though, because I'm at quite a big point in the plot that uh, you guys have no context to whatsoever. So, uh, yeah. But that being said, we still have at least three more matches to go. At the very least. Could be as big as five. You may unlock X battles this season. Oh, that's cool. Best of luck with that. Sounds strong. I don't care about your ten shield. Oh. Do my favorite jump. Never mind, I messed it up, but it's okay. Oh god, I really wish this block was inkable on more sides, but I suppose it somewhat makes sense. There's another ball back there. Nah, no, okay. If they just run in, then I can kill them for it. Which they are very much doing. No, I didn't see the bomb. Okay. I'm listening to music right now, so I didn't really hear it. to grab this. I got it. Someone else can grab that. Okay then. What? Where are you going? Oh my god. We are not good at defending. Holy. I ran out of charge. Guys, that's a shot behind us. Please deal with him.
We're not done just yet with defending. And now we should be. Um. Whew. The 180. I don't really have anything else I can do there without dying. Ow. Go! QR activates instantly the moment the match starts, right? No, you don't get QR on your first death. Why is that a thing? Balancing. It was like that in Splatoon 1 and people would just jump off the map to get QR and things like that. Basically QR was insanely broken in Splatoon 1 and they needed to nerf it. It's still really, really good in this game. It's just less so because of Tactical doing the exact same thing. Who is move it up? Or move the hell up, I should say. Why Heavy Spartling? I don't know. The whole I want to play Heavy Spartling fiasco has kind of died down a little bit, but it was basically because I saw it was close to four stars and I thought, ooh, I fancy playing Heavy today. I want to have some sort of gimmick for the stream, so this is perfect. I just play Heavy. Woo. Not the most interesting weapon out there, but... Mm. My honest opinion, Heavy is better than Hydro. I agree. It was kind of weird to say, because in a 1v1, Hydra would win against Heavy, but generally, I would say Heavy is way more valuable to have on the team than Hydra. Because Hydra just, well, they both die to charges, but one is actually good at mobile, mo mobility. There. Yeah. Steal that idea? Go for it! Innovate on it. Don't just steal it, innovate. Cool. Why am I fighting so many charges? I mean, I get it, I'm playing a, like a pseudo backliner, but like, come on. I just lose to those weapons. Haha, uh -huh. you can't reach me. Stupid. That hammer is doing pretty much nothing. Wiper, if you move out of there, you're dead. I'm behind them now. Never mind. I just claim all of this space right here for my own. Beautiful. Ugh! That's the most useless Kraken I think I've ever used in my life. <laughs> I need to get better at using Kraken. I don't really use it well enough. Like, like, I've used some pretty good Krakens, but it's not been the best. And there are definitely times and places where I can use them. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm mainly playing, like, sort of support with this heavy. Charging my Kraken and trying to go in for picks. 
And also, I'm just, you know, trying to pressure people from a distance. But I mainly have to play that supportive role because of that charge of walk, like, just looking at me constantly. And stay the same with the stringer, to be honest. Well, I'm dead. No! I had no way to actually react to that or see that coming. Guys. What do you mean this way they just scored? Dude, we have no plans. You happy now? We got this way. This way is vastly superior. I miss. And it's embarrassing. Okay, there we go. I'll take him out. I don't care. <laughs> Let's go. Any more clams? Okay, no more, no more that we can actually put in. That's fine. I'm just gonna back myself up. I'm painting for you. Okay, cool. Let's just sit in mid. Also take note of where the charger is. Okay, they're right there. Cool. I have to line them up. Damn it, I'm probably dead. Yeah. I find with Kraken, you can basically treat it like you're playing pool, where you're trying to hit the uh, the white ball into another ball. I guess I'll just hold up, hold on to the ball then. No bucket, no, 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 I didn't mean to drop, okay. You guys can kill him, right? Nice. Whew. That was close. Gonna go five zero. Do you think OG is good for Doubter opening Gambit? Mm, thing is, it works with Nova because of the point sensor primarily. Doubter just has mines, it's not really as good. With Doubters, you mainly want to be running run speed because you're in your... Well, yeah, Whale is also a thing, but 
You'd have to charge it in 30 seconds, use it, and then pray to God that you get an assist. And then you'd get 15 seconds more. It's very unreliable. Blob? Alright. Do you want to have that consistent run speed uh, with that weapon? You don't want to just rely on it for um, like if you're getting like assists or kills. And keep in mind the first 10, min 10 seconds of your match is getting to mid and trying to get those kills anyway, so like... Well, so that you can get those kills, so it's just like... It's just really unreliable. It only works if you're able to readily spam a sub weapon that locates. Oh my god. Or you have a really, really, really good Wayne weapon at chipping away at people, which, while Dowsers is good, people can just get behind cover and it has kind of weak damage. It works way better for a weapon like Range Blaster, which gets a lot more value out of the opening gambit, has that wave breaker, has that ability to chip people for like 70. And yeah. I I you can do it if you want. Will it be good? No. So wow, I'm not getting a single chance to actually fix this. Okay, there we go. Please, please fix. Come on. I spent so much money on this capture card, and yet it freezes, like, all the time. It's so dumb. We're back. No, no, no. I couldn't pick my feet. Maybe the cable is bad? I mean, maybe. It also disconnects my microphone and things. Wow, that's lame! God, can you kill the... Come on. This is a very unsatisfying match. Oh my god, this is so frustrating! Because OBS decides to die on me, and then I'm basically sitting there idly with no audio for about half a minute straight. I'm going, up, I'm going up this way again, if I can make it up the wall. There we go, now I'm cracking. I'm pressing the Kraken button. Get him! Never mind. One more clan, please, that's all I need. It's right there in front. Okay, then. You got this blob. Ow, this H3 needs to go away. There we go. Oh, and the H3's back. Never mind. Behind me, of all places. Oh, we're all dead. There's a dynamo still. Not sure where he is. 
Found him. Okay, I need to recover my ink. We are all up here. Finish him off, Storm. There we go. Please, 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 please. You have all the time in the world to score, and you died. Can I grab it? There we go. Guys! Oh my god. Okay. Okay then. Alright, that is frustrating. It's, it's so weird. With cooler. Cooler doesn't affect the Octo Shots KD whatsoever. Oh, as in. Well, yeah, the cooler would make the KD worse because he dies more. Actually. Can I find a match? There we go. Lots of... I think I'm in a JP lobby. Chat has gone... <laughs> chat has gone quiet since the plant talk ended. Well, when you talk about plants for a certain amount of time, it does get quite boring. Also, this is the weirdest comp I think I have ever seen in my life. I mean, it kind of works in its own weird way. No, 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 no. Okay, then. What's the image next to chat? A plant. It's a plant. We have like no paint on the ground. I swear to god! Okay, I'm going to need to watch this Hydra like a hawk. I'm already getting frustrated with him that it is it is it has been 40 seconds. There he is, up there. Look, he's gonna try and kill me. Just kind of gonna ignore him. He's not really threatening to me right now. Oh, he's dead. Never mind, there's a bamboo here. 
that sucks. Please don't kill me, Brush. Okay. Why? Because we were having a massive plant discussion earlier. Also, it makes the stream look nicer. It's more green, environmentally friendly, you know? I like agriculture. Did you know that plants are one of the most important things in our universe? In our, well, on Earth. Just so happens that Earth has all of the conditions to grow a plant. Like, like, literally all of them. Of course, they're not, they're all, they're all not perfect. We're probably the biggest problem with plant growth, because we kind of kill them all. Oh, I hate this. I can't kill the guy, even when I'm invincible, even though he can kill me from halfway across the map. I love Hydra, especially on Crab Leg. Oh my god, this guy's movement is insane. Yeah, no, we're not winning this, are we? They get one push and they do this well. I hate to be so negative, but like their players are just so much better than ours. It's not even that we're particularly bad. It's more so that they just have such great players on their team. Hydra. I'm just kind of here. No. Yep, they just get to score for free. there and then there's nothing I can do about it and then I die Kraken is literally useless on this map might be a bit of a problem with my positioning I should be more up here. Then there's that freaking Hydra. It's just gonna laser me down. This one's not even Kraken. Kraken cheese is immoral, and besides, my teammates never have balls anyway. And then even, if they, even if they do jump in, stuff like that happens. Of course, the stream has to drag up for as long as possible when I'm not enjoying it anymore. The second then I start not enjoying it anymore. What Kraken is meant to do, it is useless on this map, because everybody just goes up the grade.
You spotted a Rusty in your match? Oh, nice. Should having fun to do PBs or something? Well, I'm ending the stream after this game, so doing one match of PBs probably wouldn't be very good. And besides, there's not enough viewers for this anyway. Persona? No, I, I, I can't really be bothered. And I'm at a, like a major point in the story anyway, so it's just like, there's no context. And I don't want to spend 20 minutes ranting about what I've done. Up, up. Just about to beat the third palace. As in, I'm literally going to send my calling card right after the stream. Oh, well, not right after, but... You know what I mean. I swear to God, do not kill me, please, charges. That bucket is going to come up here and then, or not. Is this going to be another? Oh, hey, you can't move. At all situation, because there's a freaking elite from the other team who will just sit in mid and I can't do anything about it. The try a Kraken. I missed that one. Where's the leader at? I need to know this. Oh, it's all the way back there. Okay, I can move up a little bit. Perfectly safe here. One great thing about crab leg is that mid is huge. I didn't see the bucket. Hi Lars, hello, 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 welcome.
Okay. My question is a simple one. How? Specifically, how will I defend against this? Because I currently can't see. Oh, and we're all up here. Well, that's pretty much GG. <laughs> I can't defend against this. At least they have like a 52. And, you know, paint. We, we, we have none of that. They have a crab. What do we have? We have a Zooka, to be fair. But, like, come on. What am I supposed to do here? Anyway. That was fun at the start, but then over time, it just got more and more painful and annoying. And that's saying something, because it was on Clamblet Crab Leg, which is very, very good for this weapon, mostly. But, um... Oh, well. I'm gonna get off, because I'm feeling a little frustrated. I don't want to push myself too far. So, uh, with that, we at least made some progress, because Heavy is, I believe, the closest weapon I have to four stars. So that's good. At least. And hey, we made, uh, we made some profit in terms of series points as well. So, we can say it was at least productive. Which is good. That's what you want to see. Did I gamble today? Yes. <laughs> but aside from that, I'm going to go. So, uh, with that, uh, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, we get. Let, let's get one final... Uh, I'll, I'll tell a plant pun. Uh, best... Uh, best... No, not P. Best plant... Cl Plant puns. All right. When looking back on this stream, uh, I certainly won't say that this'll be a stream to remember. And because of that, you probably hate me. Which, fair enough. That joke was quite ridiculous. But I hope you turn up the volume as you chilly out to the outro music. <laughs> but it's okay, chat. I'm just pulling your leg. P pulling, pu oh god, no, 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 my final punchline was ruined! No! Also, extra, um, extra joke, uh, I was just so excited to play Persona that I, uh, I wet my plants. I think this is one of the weirdest jokes because because I'm looking at an article. This is one of the weirdest jokes I've ever seen. I think I meant to say wet my plants, but I don't I don't have that accent. So like, screen share persona. You need persona. No, I'm doing it with someone else. I'm all booked up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all booked up. <laughs> Maybe another time. I'll I'll like do it in my Discord server or something. By the way, join my Discord server. Smile. Uh,